Former Inkels of Reddit, what made you stop identifying that way? Serious. I didn't hate women, but I thought that I couldn't get a chance due to some cosmic bad luck, or something. I made fun of any guy that put effort into his appearance, and wondered why girls wanted Chad instead of a guy who has deep conversations, like me. Bath? Then, I realized that I was kind of suckyish to be around in a lot of situations. I would panic, due to overthinking and inexperience, one-on-one, -on -one, and I didn't dress to look good, so that probably didn't encourage people to invite me out. Then I realized that the girls like Chad, because he makes people feel comfortable, doesn't always talk about the meaning of life, and he always smells amazing. That guy's fucking awesome. More than anything, I realized that I was looking at women wrong. They are not some creature that needs to be wooed into sex and relationships. I just talk to them like they are people, without any underlying motive. Turns out that they like that shit. Go figure. So now, I'm a guy who works out religiously, takes 30 minutes to get ready, wears cologne and brushes his teeth before he goes anywhere. I also put significant effort into increasing my social skills. I do much better, primarily due to me being a much better person. I was about 22, fat, and became obsessed with this one girl I worked with, she was 20. She was more of a Volsal because of her family, dating outside races was a no-no and marriage was preferred. I asked her out and she declined and I was so obsessed that she was like me and basically did all the nice guy things, playing the victim and not letting it go, sobbing her any chance I could, and the passive-aggressive status updates on Facebook. She did admit to kind of liking me in the beginning, but she just wasn't that into me. Fast forward about a year and half later, and I lost a bunch of weight, and was obsessed with dating books to become better at handling all those negative hang-ups. We talked again after six months and found out she's starting to see someone else. I was curious why it didn't bother me so much, but I came to realize the reason why I was so obsessed had everything to do with my insecurities, and not because she was so great. After that moment and weight loss, things went far smoother with women and relationships. TLDR, I realized I was an insecure guy who had to be strong for myself to be strong for somebody else. For any Inkels that are looking for a way out of this ideology, there is a very simple solution. Treat women like people and with respect. You'll be surprised how far this gets you, no matter what you look like. Even if you are a damn chiseled supermodel jock. Chad and an example of what peak performance looks like, you aren't going to get far with women in the long term if you don't treat them with respect. Choosing not to treat women with respect is choosing to drive them away and be undateable. Involuntary makes it sound so permanent and like the person identifying that way is helpless, but it's as changeable as your own behavior. I was this in middle school, early high school. I stopped seeing things that way when I realized I was a trans girl and a huge reason I thought that way was misplaced jealousy. I don't think I ever fully embraced the insult mentality, but I got close for a couple years there. I couldn't figure out why it was so hard for me to have these close, emotional relationships with women that everybody else was enjoying. I blamed society, but I never took it so far as to blame women specifically. But then I got a little introspective and realized that it was me who couldn't form close, emotional relationships. With anyone. I was completely blocked off, emotionally, from everyone around me, and trying to blame external factors for people not being able to get in. Looking back, there were plenty of great women in my life who absolutely would have given me a shot had I not been so scared of being even a little bit vulnerable. But I consistently ran them all off with my own self-destructive, narcissistic inability to trust anyone with access to my life. I've spent the last couple of years learning how to be comfortable with being emotionally vulnerable and emotionally honest, and LVE remained intentionally single and chased through the journey. It's been difficult for me to navigate, but I think I'm a much better person for it and I think I'm close to being ready to have a mature, adult relationship. Basically I had a moment of clarity that there was no way I was right and half the human race was wrong. One of the most painful nights of my life. Just confronting myself like that. After wallowing in self-pity for hours I decided to concentrate on self-improvement specifically by playing to my strengths and learning how to hold a conversation better. Later on I told a friend of mine about it and she asked me out. 
Looking back I am about 80% it was a pity date, but at the time it really helped. We had a few nice dates together one of which ended with us cuddling. We both ended up moving, but kept in touch for years. I am very grateful to her. This story does have a happy ending me and my wife are hitting the decade mark fairly soon and I have daughters. So to any girls reading this if you help an insel out you can really make a difference in his life, his future wife, and his kids. First I started taking pride in my insel status, it soothed my depression, but wasn't healthy in the long run. The real change started when I quit smoking, I started getting really irritable and aggressive all the time, as you do when you quit, so I got on my bike and took that energy to the gym. Lost about 100 pounds and started feeling better about myself, started being meticulous about my hygiene. I felt like I had a better chance with women, and saw better results with them when I just relaxed and enjoyed myself. Those increments of success helped make me less obsessed or reliant on sexual or romantic gratification and just be happy with myself. What really punched me in the head, as far as realizations go, is when recently I started dating an insul girl. I didn't even consider they existed, but I recognized all the signs in her. On paper she was pretty much perfect, we could have meaningful talks together, tons of similar interests, just broad compatibility. But I didn't feel sexually attracted to her. I thought I did at first, and we fooled around a little, but doing it just made me realize I wasn't into it. If I'm being honest, her lack of hygiene was a factor, but I just couldn't see us as a couple with an organic relationship, if that makes sense. It was a bucket of ice over my head to finally realize how all those women I struck out within my insul days felt. I was so desperate and had so low standards I couldn't even imagine that they just weren't interested in a sexual way, and that's okay. T.I. D.R. I embraced testosterone, turned my life around, and I stopped being an insul in late 2017 and went on to go my own way. My financial life, happiness, and physical appearance drastically improved. There are so many nice things to do in your life that you can do alone. You don't have to communicate with women. They don't want me, I don't want them, so everybody wins. I realized women ain't shit and went my own way. Check out our MGTO. Become a vocal, voluntarily celibate. It is more rewarding. Edit, downvoted by simps. Not surprising. Recovering nice guy M here. Mostly the cracked article about six harsh truths that'll make you a better person that came out in 2012. Note, this won't work for everyone and there are legitimate criticisms to it. Thanks for watching like and subscribe to see more videos like this one.